Hi everyone, thank you for watching another episode of Gaffer and Gear. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the softbox for the Aperture Nova P600C. Alright, so early on when uh, Aperture came out with the Nova P600C, they asked me as an owner-operator gaffer, what is one of the things stopping me from selling my SkyPanel S60Cs and buying the Aperture Nova P600Cs as replacements? And I told them, there's more to being a gaffer than just owning lights. You also have all of the accessories. So each one of my six sky panels had um, a snap grid, a snap bag, and a snap grid for the snap bag. And I said, look, if I replace all of that stuff, and because it's not gonna fit on the Nova, it's a different shape to the sky panel, that's gonna cost me something like 10 to $12,000. So if you wanna persuade an owner operator like me to get the Nova P600 over something like a sky panel, well, you're gonna really have to have very cheap accessories that make it a no brainer decision. All right, so today we're gonna have a look at the Nova P600C softbox. And look, the first big plus with this is this thing sells for 149 US dollars. And if you have a hunt around, you can find it for as cheap as 250 Australian dollars to around typically 270 Australian dollars. That's real cheap, but just because something's cheap doesn't mean it's value for money. It has to be built good. So let's take a look. All right, so before we start going through what you get, let's talk about what makes a soft light soft. So let's do some uh, basics. All right, so. What makes a soft light soft or softer is how big the surface area is that is being illuminated. Okay, so the bigger the surface area, the softer it is. So what this soft box is going to do, it's going to increase our illuminated surface area to three times larger. Okay, so it's going to end up being two foot by three foot. So it's going to be three times softer. So at the moment, is this a soft light? Well, that depends on your point of view. So for me, uh, I see this something this size as more of a floodlight. This, this light heroes are giving you a massive floodlit area with an even illumination, but I wouldn't really call it a soft light in this configuration, it's very tiny. All right, so let's start going through what we get in the bag. So you get a, um, a grid, 45 degree grid. We'll talk about this in a bit more detail in a sec. And we also get the soft light, or oh, soft light, the soft box, and a one quarter grid cloth. All right, let's start putting it on. All right, so let's put this on the light now. So what we do is unfold it. And what we're looking for, there's lots of Velcro, so it tends to snag on each other. What you're looking for is a piece that loops onto itself that's in the center, okay? That's the top, all right? So what you do with that, put the soft box on the front of the light, and then this strap goes through the handle. And you feed the strap back onto itself, okay? Not onto the body of the softbox, just onto itself. Now what that strap does is it enables you to free your hands up, okay? So that's holding onto the softbox so it doesn't fall on the ground. Now you've got both hands free to start putting the softbox onto the light properly. All right, so just spin it around to the front. And at this stage here, we just wanna have all of our silver reflector and our rods on the outside of the light and all of our strapping except for the white strap goes onto the back. All right, so if you're ever uh, assembling um, a soft box that's got a lot of strapping, a simple rule of thumb is uh, black to the back. Okay, if it's black strapping, it goes to the back, all right? Now we've got all our rods in place. So they're all onto the side of the light. So there's one, two, three, four of those. And all of our reflective surface is around the outside edge. Now, this is a very clean reflector. Uh, unlike some of Aperture's previous soft boxes and, uh, and things like that, they had a bit of a green tint. This is very neutral. Now, at this stage, all we've got to do now is start doing up our straps. So you've got the two main straps on the back. I think there's a third one, no. So it's just the two main straps. And that's pretty secure. If you want to go to a, a little bit of additional effort, there's also some straps on the side here that you can feed around the stirrup mount. I'm just trying to figure out which way that goes because there it is. Go around the stirrup and back onto itself. And that'll give it a, a, bit, of, a bit more additional side support if it's getting any wind hitting it this way. It'll stop it from folding in. OK, 
Okay, and that is very well secured now. All we have to do now is put on our diffuser. Now, it's a quarter grid cloth. That's what Aperture have got it listed at. But as you can see, it's very dense. So it's sort of um, an older school quarter grid cloth, which is about the equivalent of uh, a more modern uh, American half grid cloth. All right, so I've got the softbox fully mounted with the diffuser on it. One thing I want to show you is how secure all the strapping is. So if someone was to grab this and pan it around via the softbox, it's not going to rip off. So uh, in terms of why that's a big deal in terms of securing it, if you're adding and removing the grid with some other softboxes, um, you can actually end up ripping the softbox off the light or dismantling it a bit and you have to rebuild it again from scratch, but that won't happen with this if you've got it fully secured. All right, the last thing to talk about is the grid. So the grid is a 30, sorry, 45 degree beam grid. And there's one thing I really like about this grid, and that is it has small cells. I'm a big fan of having these smaller cells. It really does ha have a big effect on your shadows or the lack of shadow problems. So I've done an episode previously on gaffer and gear where I talk about this. So if you're curious about it, have a look at that episode. Now this has Velcro around the outside and quite literally it just Velcros in. And there we are, we're done. All right, so let's take a look at the light with the 45 degree grid. It's doing a very good job of controlling it. Now the reason I like these smaller cells is you get less distinct shadowing off them. All right, so let's quickly go through some pros and cons. In terms of pros, it's very well built. It only comes in at an additional 1.3 kilograms. In terms of negatives, you can't get any other diffusers for it, okay? So quarter grid cloth is your only option. You can't get any other grids, so 45 degrees is your only option. And the last possible negative, this will not work in combination with the rain jacket. In terms of other accessories that are available for the Nova P600, they've got a rain jacket that I've already reviewed. There's also a double yoke system that I've already reviewed. And still waiting for review, I've got a set of barn doors, a 45 degree drop in metal grid, and a space light. Okay, see you on the next episode of Gaffer and Gear. Take care.